How you doing guys? This is Big Head Jr. again. And today's uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about how to make unlimited money on the game. Okay, so I'm right here at Benedict's Point. And where you want to go is down here at Solomon's Folly. And where we're going to go at, where the valuables are, is right here. And there's another little goodie that I'll show you just tucked away in this root cellar, I call it. But see where you want to go from. You want to fast travel to Tumbleweed, which is right here. And you can pretty much do it if you've been here before. If you've not been here before, I'm pretty sure you cannot fast travel. But with that being said, guys, we're going to get into this. And I'm going to show you how to make money on this game doing pretty much nothing. But rocking back and forth from the post office to Solomon's Folly, where I'm right at on this little icon right here. I'm right here and it's pretty simple but it is time consuming so that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into this and I will show you how to make money with a little bit of effort but it's nighttime so let me put my handy dandy trusty miners cap with the flashlight on it and let's go oh and if you guys want me to do a video of how I found this miner cap with the flashlight on it just drop a light uh, drop a comment in the section below the comment section below and I will be happy to do the video where I found it but okay guys we're getting back into this and we're gonna go down here and I will show you what I have found I've done it a few times already just to make sure that it still works so I can show you guys this so you can reap the benefits when I've actually done this before I've made like seven thousand off of it seven thousand four hundred I believe. but if you go to this chimney here you can search it and you will find a gold nugget and you will find a large jury bag the large jury bag it has the most payout because it's 50 bucks for each bag but the gold nugget is the least right now because it only has a payout of $25 but when you first come here there will be Dell Lobos here if you've already been here recently I don't think they will respawn that fast but it took it takes a while for you to stay away for they respawn but if you come down here in this little root cellar right here as you can see on the on the little map right here where we are you can come down here there'll be like maybe a hundred and fifty hundred seventy five to two hundred dollars Usually I get between 175 to 200 bucks off of this plus $13 and change this on the table plus a half eight, a half drunk bottle of Kentucky bourbon and over here on this barrel right beside this moonshine jug you will find a bottle of guarma rum which we're going to try to shoot the cork off of it without breaking the bottle which did not work. Let's just go ahead and break it. Come on guys. And that's the end of that job. Re so reload my M1880 pistols. No, I'm sorry, M1899 pistols, which are one, my one of the favorite pistols of mine in the game. That's why I have duels. One thing I like about this little mining helmet, anywhere you point the gun, it's kind of halfway lit up. But if you do not go in first person, it will completely light up where you're pointing at. Which is pretty cool. But uh, on a personal note, if you actually do equip the. I'm going too far. Let me go back. If you equip the lantern, and this is an electric, electric lantern that I got from Dover Hill. But if you notice, the, the lantern turns red and it, it leads you to the robot. But if you guys want me to do that video, I'll do that too. Just, uh,. Comment in the comment section below. After this video, I think I'm gonna do one more for tonight, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to rob a store without getting caught on the game. So that should be fun. But let me switch back to my other lantern because I'll show you guys how bright this is. It literally brights up a room when you're in it because there's a lot of light. Let's see, look, we go down here. 
it literally lights up the room. Let me take care of the candles and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You're gone. Oh, I got to get out of here. I forgot about the lantern. Oh, crap. back down here which it should be burning out pretty soon but as you guys can see even with the fire it's bright in here but I forgot about the lantern but see we're going this corner here it's like super bright which I find cool like it literally lights up the whole ceiling in the room so you would have no trouble finding anything in here which I find cool I got to get out of here before I get caught in here and burned alive again I've had it happen to me before but as you guys notice, it's actually a flame in there. I thought it was a, a actual light at first, but it's actually a little flame. But this is pretty cool. But see, we got oh, we can go back in. I'm gonna show you guys how to how to efficiently make the the uh, gold nugget and a large jury bag respawn. So you guys know exactly how to do it. So you can benefit and reap the ben uh, reap the uh, the benefits of this. So you can get money on the game pretty easily like I said it's it's time consuming but if you have the time to do it and you pretty much well beat the game and you want to just be a rich snob and kill people on the game which what my character is I just kill everybody on here I played a rich snob character on my game which is pretty funny I go around starting fights with people and just getting locked up it's pretty funny I drunk fight people it's pretty funny. If you guys want to see me drunk fight people on the on uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, drop a comment in the, in the comment section and I will sure do it. But I'm pretty sure I went far enough, but I might not have. Let's see if it responds. Okay, it responds. See, guys? Now, do exactly as I told told y'all guys how to do this, and it will work for you every time. Let's see. I've already did it a few times. Actual, and I will show you guys. See, I already got nine of nine, nine of each. I'm sorry, but I I try to keep it even so that way I don't have to make an extra trip to get the last one. So yeah, guys, uh, if you like this video and it was pretty helpful to you guys and the money the money glitch works for you guys, well the valuable glitch is not really a money glitch, but if the glitch works for you guys and y'all guys get the amount of money that you can uh get in the game. As many t I mean there's like I said there's no limit on this you can do it as many times as you want because I've done did it over a hundred and something times maybe 150 160 times if you do 99 of each then you would get like seven thousand dollars which is a lot of money in the game but guys with that being said I hope you like this video hit the like hit uh, hit the subscribe button and like my video and hit the little bell beside it so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.